Preface of Ox Team Days on the Oregon Trail. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Bologna Times. Ox Team Days on the Oregon Trail by Ezra Meeker and Howard R. Driggs. Preface The Oregon Trail. What suggestion the name carries of the heroic toil of pioneers. Yet a few years ago the route of the trail was only vaguely known. Then public interest was awakened by the report that one of the very men who had made the trip to Oregon in the old days was traversing the trail once more, moving with ox team and covered wagon from his home in the state of Washington, and marking the old route as he went. The man with the ox team was Ezra Meeker. He went on to the capital, where Mr. Roosevelt, then president, met him with joy. Then he traversed the long trail once more with team and wagon, back to that northwest which he had so long made his home. This book gives Mr. Meeker's story of his experiences on the Oregon Trail when it was new, and again when advanced in years he retraced the journey of his youth that americans might ever know where led the footsteps of the pioneers the publication of this book in its pioneer life series carries forward one of the cherished purposes of world book company to supply as a background to the study of american history interesting and authentic narratives based on the personal experiences of brave men and women who helped to push the frontier of our country across the continent. An Introduction to the Author Out in the state of Washington recently, a veteran of more than ninety years stepped into an aeroplane with a mail pilot and flew from Seattle to Victoria in British Columbia and back again. The aged pioneer took the trip with all the zest of youth and returned enthusiastic over the adventure. This youthful veteran was Ezra Meeker, of Oregon Trail fame, who, throughout his long, courageous, useful life, has ever kept in the vanguard of progress. Seventy years ago he became one of the trailblazers of the farther west. In 1852, with his young wife and child, he made the hazardous journey over plains and mountains all the way from Iowa to Oregon by ox team. Then, after fifty-four years of struggle in helping to develop the country beyond the Cascades, this undaunted pioneer decided to reblaze the almost lost Oregon Trail. The old prairie schooner was rebuilt, and a yoke of sturdy oxen was trained to make the trip. With one companion and a faithful dog, the veteran started out. It took nearly two years, but the ox team journey from Washington, the state, to Washington, our national capital, was finally accomplished. The chief purpose of Mr. Meeker in this enterprise was to induce people to mark the famous old highway. To him it represented a great battleground in our nation's struggle to win and hold the West. The story of the Oregon Trail, he rightly felt, is an American epic which must be preserved. Through his energy and inspiration, and the help of thousands of loyal men and women, schoolboys and schoolgirls, substantial monuments have now been placed along the greater part of the old pioneer way. Two years ago it was my privilege to meet the author in his home city. Our mutual interest in pioneer stories brought us together in an effort to preserve some of them, and several days were spent in talking over the old times and visiting historic spots. Everywhere we went there was a glowing welcome for Father Meeker, as he was called by some of his home folks, while Uncle Ezra was the name used affectionately by others. The ovation given him when he arose to speak to the teachers and students of the high school in Puyola the city he founded, was evidence of the high regard in which he is held by those who know him best. Other boys and girls, and older folk all over the country, 
would enjoy meeting Ezra Meeker and hearing of his experiences. Since this is not possible, the record of what he has seen and done is given to us in this little volume. The book makes the story of the Oregon Trail live again. The famous old way to the west was traced in the beginning by wild animals, the bear, the elk, the buffalo, the soft-footed wolf, and the coyote. Trailing after these animals in quest of food and skins came the Indians. Then followed the fur-trading mountaineers, the home-seeking pioneers, the gold-seekers, the soldiers, and the cowboys. Now railroad trains, automobiles, and even aeroplanes go whizzing along over parts of the old highway. Every turn in the trail holds some tale of danger and daring or romance. Most of the stories have been forever lost in the passing away of those who took part in this ox-team migration across our continent. For that reason, the accounts that have been saved are the more precious. Ezra Meeker has done a signal service for our country in reblazing the Oregon Trail. He has accomplished an even greater work in helping to humanize our history and vitalize the geography of our land by giving to us, through this little volume, a vivid picture of the heroic pioneering of the farther west. Howard R. Driggs The World's Greatest Trail Worn deep and wide by the migration of 300,000 people, lined by the graves of 20,000 dead, witness of romance and tragedy, the Oregon Trail is unique in history and will always be sacred to the memories of the pioneers. Reaching the summit of the Rockies upon an evenly distributed grade of eight feet to the mile, following the watercourse of the River Platte and tributaries to within two miles of the summit of the South Pass, through the Rocky Mountain Barrier, descending to the tidewaters of the Pacific, through the valleys of the Snake and the Columbia, the route of the Oregon Trail points the way for a great national highway from the Missouri River to Puget Sound, a roadway of greatest commercial importance, a highway of military preparedness, a route for a lasting memorial to the pioneers, thus combining utility and sentiment. Signature Ezra Meeker End of Preface